Hi there, in this video I'm going to go through uh, the solutions to logic sheet 2. So let's click on sheet 2 here and uh, as you can see uh, it says that what we need to know about is the triv tactic and the ex falso tactic because uh, uh, this sheet is all about true and false, right? The true and false are examples of propositions. True is just the statement that's, that's always true and false is the statement that's always false, right? You know, true and false are examples of true false statements. Uh, so, what have we got? We've got 10 problems to solve here, because there's 10 warnings down there. And uh, uh, the way this works is we've got to prove... Oh, I can't see what the goal is. Let's click that there. Oh, and now that's gone over there. And now let's click it again. There you go. I don't know why you have to do it twice. Uh, maybe I should file a bug report. So we've got to prove... Uh, we've got to prove true, and the way you prove true is triv. Right? You can... Uh, you could uh, go back to, oh, not there. You could go back to here. There we go. Uh, you can uh, you can learn about triv. If you go there, you go. The, ta the triv tactic proves true. So, I'm assuming that you've read the documentation about triv and exfold. So, if you've got this far, I mean, if you haven't actually tried, if you haven't actually tried these problems yet, then you shouldn't really be watching this video. Uh, so now what? We've got to prove that true implies true. So let's let, let's intro H. Let's assume that. Let's assume true, and there we go. Now we've got to prove true. So we could do exact H, that would work. Or triv, that would work as well. Now this one, we've got to prove that false implies true. So intro H. Uh, so H is a false hypothesis. And uh, now we've got to prove true. So tri I mean, if ever your goal is true, we can prove it with triv, right? Uh, so false implies false. Uh, this is a rather weirder one. So intro H. So now we've got H is a hypothesis that a false proposition is true, and we've got to prove that a false proposition is true. But we can do it's like proof by contradiction, right? Uh, uh, we've we've got a false hypothesis, so exact H is going to work fine, right? There, there we go. Uh, that's worked. So now what? True implies false implies false. Is this right? Let me just check. Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, if Torto says it's true, then it's true. Uh, so intro H. Now I've got to prove something false. Uh, but fortunately, my hypothesis is nonsense as well. Uh, I guess I could apply apply H, and now I've got to prove something true. So uh, triv, there you go. <laughs> I love this; it's all absolute nonsense. False implies P. Uh, I mean, it's it's not nonsense in the sense that it's completely logically valid. It's just kind of funny uh, that we're sort of jumping around between we've got to prove something true, and now we've got to prove something false, and that's like what the heck's going on? But you know. If it compiles, then it's logically correct. Whether or not you understand it, that's a different question. Uh, so intro H. Uh, and now, oh, P is a proposition. We've got to prove P, uh, which is a tall order in general, because P could be the Riemann hypothesis. Uh, but fortunately, we have a hypothesis uh, which isn't true. And uh, so now, I mean, so now we should use this X falso tactic. X falso changes the goal to false. And so now we can just use exact H. There we go. You mustn't use X falso too early, right? If you if you use X falso immediately, then we've got real problems now because all we have is that P is a true false statement, and we've got to prove so. You can't ever prove if your goal is false, then you're in trouble unless your hypotheses are contradictory. So you see here, our goal is false, but it's okay because our hypotheses, I mean, our hypotheses are contradictory. Uh, true implies false implies true. <laughs> Let's do intros, uh, whatever, h1, h2, h3, h4, h5. Uh, and now I've got to prove false, so that's exact h4. That will work there. Uh, p implies, if p implies, so intros hp, that would be a good first line. And then hp, whatever, h1, let, let's just call it h. So we've got p and the hypothesis is that p implies false. See, again, so we're in this dubious situation where we've got to prove our goal is false and we've got to prove it anyway. So the only hope, the only way that we can prove a false goal is to hopefully see if our um, if our hypotheses don't add up. And of course, you know, our, if you think about it, if P is true, then H is false. And if P is false, then HP is false. So our hypotheses don't add up. So it's OK, even though we've got to prove something false, we should be able to do it. Uh, so apply H, and then exact well, assumption. There we go. So that's done that one. Uh, now what? P implies false implies. So intros H1, H2. Uh, 
I see. So we've got to prove Q. We don't know anything about Q. Uh, so it's going to be difficult to prove anything about Q, but we could use X false over here, couldn't we? Uh, and now apply H1 and then exact H2. That's done that one. True implies false implies P. So intro H, uh, X falso, apply H, and triv. Hey, there we go. They're all done. And uh, so that's the end of this video.